Suarez was acquired in a trade from Cincinnati along with Jesse Winker back on the 14th of March this year. Cincinnati was shedding contract and Suarez filled the need at third base. That's a fair ball down the right side, and that's going to score a run. Suarez is around first. Here comes Rodriguez in the score, and Seattle has taken a 1 0 lead here in the first. Suarez doesn't hit for a lot of average, but he drives in runs and comes up with clutch hits. Doesn't try and do too much with that ball from Alec Manoa. Just keep it in fair, keep it in play. That two seam fastball catches a little bit too much of the plate as Suarez goes the other way to score this series first run slicing it fair down the right field line Suarez led the Mariners in RBIs with 87 during the regular season and he has given the Mariners a one nothing lead here is Cal Raleigh switch hitting catcher batting left handed against Manoa Bringing a high pop up over near the Mariners dugout and that will be out of play. Raleigh doesn't swing with a lot of batting average doesn't have a big batting average but he's got power to spare. When you watch him swing he's got a short stroke. For me he reminds me a lot of Kyle Schwarber the same type of hitter not a high average type of hitter but can bomb the ball out of the ballpark. So you got to be careful with them. Raleigh is 26 years old. Actually, 25. He'll turn 26 in November. Switch it and catch it with some power. He set a franchise record for home runs by a Mariners catcher at 27. There's a ball downstairs. Raleigh actually was sent down to the minor leagues earlier in the season and really. Made some adjustments, came back, choked up on the bat a little bit more, better bat control. As Pat mentioned, he doesn't hit for much of an average, but boy, he's got some thump in that bat. Maybe the biggest hit in their history, recent, at least their recent history. That's foul. He had the home run, a pinch hit home run, three and two, two outs in the bottom of the ninth inning last Friday in Seattle to secure their spot in the postseason. Home walk off home run right down the line something that you dream about when you're a kid to get your team into the playoffs or maybe win a playoff so plenty of power in that young man Manila had a ball and two strikes runner at second base one out ball is bounced into there good job by Kirk keep the ball in front of him the Mariners this season, when they score first, have a 65 and 21 record. And that speaks to their good defense and their quality pitching, especially late in the game. Their bullpen is tough. Yeah, they've got a tough and deep bullpen. Scott Service, their manager, has done a good job. There's another guy they pilfered from the Reds right there, today's starting pitcher. Luis Castillo will make his second postseason start here this afternoon. Two balls and two strikes to Cal Raleigh. Popped up, and that's going to be out of play behind the Blue Jays' dugout. I think early on in this game, Buck, that Alec Manoa is going to have to, to really fight his emotions. He's an emotional kind of guy. He's been looking for this type of start his whole career. He's honored to be named you know the number one guy to get, to get a start in the playoffs but he's going to have to take deep breaths he's going to have to key down just a little bit it's a long day you got to take it pitch by pitch 15 pitches so far for Manoa another 2 2 pitches and checks on Suarez and second upstairs a full count Mitch Hanniger right handed hitter is on deck Hanniger, another powerful bat. So you don't necessarily have to give in to Cal Raleigh here with Hanniger on deck. Manoa has the sign. It's 
Swinging a drive, deep ball to right field. Hernandez will watch this one go. Kyle Raleigh with a two-run home run here in the first, and the Mariners take a 3-0 lead. They mentioned how much power he has. 27 home runs during the regular season, the most in the majors for a catcher. Yeah, he got a pitch to his liking, and it was a fastball that was up. 